and welcome to my kitchen and tonight we're going to be making a meal from the pantry entirely in the pressure cooker. Um, bean and bacon soup from the pantry right here in this pressure cooker. I've already shown you how to pressurize and pressure cook your um, dried beans from scratch and I've got those rinsed and off to the side. What I have in here is I took a couple of jars. I had quart jars of bacon that I can uh, three years ago that I need to use up and they're the ones that I did in the parchment. So there were really only um there weren't a lot of slices in each jar. The jar was mostly taken up with parchment. I've since decided not to do it that way anymore because mostly what we use the bacon for is a seasoning. So it's just better to go ahead and can up the bacon in pieces in pint jars or in half pint jars but what I've done is I've taken that bacon and it literally just falls apart um, and I've cooked all of the water out of it because my um, my pressure cooker here has the option where I can brown the meat in here or I can use this as a slow cooker um, so I've cooked the bacon down and what we're gonna add in here is pretty simple we've got about a cup each of cremini mushroom and sliced baby carrots, sliced uh, celery, a medium onion that I've chopped, a few cloves of garlic that's finely minced, and a teaspoon each of thyme, marjoram, and poultry seasoning. And I'm just gonna, you know, dump it all in here and I'm gonna give it a toss with the bacon fat and the bacon. And that's going to, um, make it look delicious. This is more for like rotating your pantry items. This absolutely is for rotating your pantry it's stuff. It's an emergency meal because you won't have electricity. Right. They could do this over a campfire. Right? They could absolutely do this over a campfire. All right. I'm just going to give this a toss. I'm not really interested in cooking the veggies down too much. Just giving it a toss. I'm going to season it up. Put in the garlic. In with the beans. Give this a good toss. I have a couple of quarts of my home canned chicken stock over here, and I'm just going to add those in. Let's see where we're at. I might need the second one. Definitely, yeah. definitely going to need the second one. Give that a good stir. Don't put any pepper in when you pressure cook because it intensifies to such a degree that all you'll taste is pepper and you'll be disappointed. So I think I did a pretty good job because that's like right there at that fill line. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the top and I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna zero out the thing here. Put my lid on. Okay, seal it up. I'm going to set it to soup and I'm going to leave it at five minutes. And then when this pressurizes and does its thing, I'll be back and I'll show you what our soup looks like. All right, my pressure cooker has decompressed and the timer went off. So it is safe to remove the lid. There we go. Ooh, sorry, honey. It's hot. I'm just going to give it a stir. And that 
is it smells incredible i wish you could smell it because it smells downright incredible the only thing that i am going to do is i'm going to put some pepper in here because, like I said, you don't want to put the pepper in there before you pressure um, cook it because the pepper just gets so intense that it's not pleasant. But it needs a little bit of pepper. There. Not too much. We'll just give it a good stir. Mmm. And it's super hot right now, but you know what? Let it sit for a few minutes, it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop you up a bowl here. Brothy and perfect mm. and hot. Look at that. That is beautiful. I'm gonna get a spoon. I'm gonna give it a taste and make sure all my veggies are nice and soft. They are, I can already tell. And I didn't put any salt in it because of the bacon. And everybody can salt their own serving if they want to, but typically the bacon is going to lend a lot of saltiness to the soup anyway. So, mm. Mm. that's mm. delicious. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, so there you have it. A delicious bean and bacon soup with all of those wonderful flavors using things that I had in my pantry. I used dried beans from my pantry. I used canned bacon, canned chicken stock, all from my pantry. And then things that I had in my fridge in my, in my produce drawer. What could be better than this on a dismal and cold, bone-chillingly damp, wet, rainy March day? So... I hope that you give this a try, and I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and Pinterest, and Instagram, and Google+, and Blogger. I have a blog over there, and you can take a look at that. You can um, subscribe to that feed as well. And don't forget that every recipe that you see me um, do here on YouTube, with the exception of a few earlier ones, you can access all of the recipes over on my website, nareenskitchen.com, where you will find printer-friendly versions of those recipes, so you can print them out and keep them for your own. So. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!